would share um, my Amazon pantry order with you. It came today. Um, it's really nice. It comes, you know, you it's delivered to your door. Minimum $35 order, and I think it's free. So I got a few things that I just can't find here, and or things we wanted to try that were new. This is um, Spatzel authentic German dumplings. Um, this is something we will not eat on a daily basis, but for Thanksgiving and Christmas, my mother-in-law always makes homemade spatzel, and I'm not sure this year what holidays are gonna be like, so um, I thought I would get a couple of those to keep just in case we need to do our own little thing at home this year. Um, I got two boxes of these. They're, okay, I don't eat these, but he does, and he absolutely loves them. This is new. Um, it's back to nature, plant-based snacks, multigrain flax seed, shortbread or flatbread. So we're gonna get that a try. These are for me because I I tend to like things like this. So I got myself a treat with sugar, with real sugar. And then I got a couple of boxes of these. I haven't been able to get these here in quite a while. I think people are just stocking up food because it's been kind of hard to find or something because I can't find these with the whole green crackers. I got two of these for later this year when it's a little colder outside. This is really good. Um, and then I got one of these to try. I've never tried this before. So I thought I would give it a go. All right, that's what I got from Amazon Pantry. Okay, hi, we're back. Well, our pot roast is cooking in the crock pot we thought we would do some menu planning I know in a previous video I had said I don't write everything down but I just kind of keep it going in my head a little bit so what I thought we would do I looked on Amazon I found us an actual menu plan that like it sticks to my refrigerator so I thought we would actually start doing this it would make my groceries a lot more um, organized so I thought you guys might like to join us for this new adventure <laughs> it's new and it's an adventure okay it's not really an adventure but we don't have a whole lot of a life right now thanks to COVID but uh, I'm going to go through I'm going to use my app called Paprika and that's where I keep most of my recipes he's going to make the grocery list so let's get started okay here we go we're going to start with Monday okay so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hit where I made the category for main dishes. And I think we're gonna do balsamic chicken. That's one of our favorites. It's low sugar. It's easy. So on our grocery list, actually, I think I have everything for that one. All right, so we don't need to bring anything down. So we're gonna try a different color marker now. For Tuesday, I think I wanna do chicken sandwiches again. Uh, we tried these chicken Lays that we got from Aldi's, and they were so good. They were crazy good. And uh, on top of that, they did not do anything to Chris's blood sugar, which we're gonna have a talk about that probably in our next video. So we'll do chicken. That purple does not show up very well. Okay, we'll do it a second time in pink. Okay. Now then Wednesday, I think I'm just gonna stick with the green. Wednesday, I wanna do our, our regular baked chicken. It's just a, a baked chicken I do with cauliflower rice. So we're just gonna have baked chicken. As you can see, we eat a lot of chicken. Okay, this week, I don't very often shop at Aldi. I'm just not super impressed with our Aldi store. It's not always the cleanest, um, but they do have a few things that I can only find there that we like, and one of those would be the chicken fillets for the chicken sandwiches. Mm -hmm. So if you want to add that, and we do our grocery shopping for two weeks, you know, but right now I don't need a whole lot. Um, we seem to be pretty well stocked up on what we need. But yeah, the chicken sandwiches. Also, we do add some milk. On Thursday, we're going to do easy Salisbury steak. And that's just, we have everything we need for that too. And then Friday, uh, we'll probably do pizza. We'll do our pizza. Mm -hmm. And for that, I will need to go to the other grocery store and get the famous Devani sauce. <laughs> <laughs> Saturday. 
I think Saturday we'll just do like a burger, a bunless burger. Okay. You need anything? Um, onion. We need some onions. Um, maybe some sugar-free barbecue sauce because I like to make um, barbecue beans to go with it when we have hamburgers. Um, and it's hard to find baked beans that are sugar-free already made, so I will do that. And then Sunday, let's see, what are we gonna do Sunday? Ooh, let's try that recipe that I got. It's a new recipe. Um, we're gonna do breakfast for supper, how's that? Sounds good. And then I will show you the outcome of this new recipe, if it turns out. Well, even if it doesn't, I'll let you know. Okay, well, this so, is our menu board. So what's in that recipe? Is there anything you need um, to get? No, I think I have everything. It's eggs and sausage with some green peppers and red peppers and, and mushrooms, and you bake it. It's okay. like a bake. It's like an egg bake type thing, but they're individual little cups. Um, maybe some fresh mushrooms. Add some okay. mushrooms to the list. A red and a green pepper. And this looks like a simple menu, and it really is. Um, we have discovered that eating healthy doesn't have to be this huge ordeal. I mean, and you can think burgers might not sound healthy, but the way we do it, they are. We use very lean ground beef. We don't eat buns. Uh, we have baked beans with it that I make that are sugar-free. And you can hear my neighbor's chickens in the background. Can you hear that? I don't know. I've got the windows open. It's so gorgeous here today, and the chickens are just going crazy. So, all right. Well, let me show you. The Should I zoom it up? Yep. Okay. Here it is. And I will, I think our next video, what I'm going to talk about is um, how we made going sugar free and eating healthier easy and how it doesn't feel like we're on a diet even though we kind of are you know i have lost 23 pounds chris has lost close to 40 pounds was it 38 about 38 pounds at yeah. one point i think i've gained a couple but yeah but i'm i bet at one point it's down to 38 after our change yeah well see in november chris's doctor of last year chris's doctor said you have one month and if you don't bring your, you know, change your lifestyle and bring your blood sugar down, we're going to have to put you on insulin. And that became my new obsession was to avoid Chris having to take a shot every day. And we actually did it. And um, it wasn't that hard. At first, it's an adjustment because you do change things. Like you don't eat bread and you don't eat pasta. We eat pasta, but we eat whole grain pasta, whole wheat pasta. Um, and just, you would be shocked at the, the difference those small changes can make for you. So we will talk about that next time. I'm gonna stick this right here. And now I'm gonna make him go to Aldi's with me. Okay, here we are at Aldi's. And of course we go through our whole disinfecting process because, well, you know, COVID. So, Aldi's was surprisingly very well stocked. As you can see, the there's plenty. Uh, well, this is like their snack aisle with their chips and crackers and cookies, which, you know, I always look, but very seldom do we buy any of this type of stuff at Aldi. Well, I don't know if it's Aldi or Aldi's. I always put an S on the end. I'm not sure why. Spices. I was almost out of garlic, so, and I use the lazy garlic. I don't like to make my hands all stinky by chopping my own. And we're checking our sugars and making sure that anything we get might be okay. And looking at the meat. I was really interested in the brisket, but I've never bought brisket or anything like that from Aldi, so I wasn't really sure what it would be like. But I always take a look. And And here we go, the freezer section. We always have, the few things I've gotten from Aldi's freezer section, we've we've enjoyed and it's been really good. We've got a couple of bags of the chicken breast for sandwiches and we're going to try some buffalo chicken strips. Um, we haven't tried those before. 
milk. Oh, I really want these brioche buns, but they've got six grams of sugar in one bun. I got it. Before I start touching the car. And they're all wet. Okay. Aldi's. We did it. I always really just feel icky after <laughs> being in there. I'm sorry. I know where my mother-in-law lives. Her Aldi's. It is beautiful store. Very clean. This one, not so much. But they do have a few things that, you know, I take the chance on and go in and get once in a while. So. And we have a new fondness for their chicken sandwich. Yeah, it's called it's Kirkwood Chicken Fillets. They're breaded, but like I said, it's they we had it, and he tested his blood and. No impact. Oh, got to swab the deck after this one. I I got some help in the kitchen today. Chris is going to peel the potatoes for me. I have him convinced he's the best potato piller, you know, on earth. So that's how I get him in here to do this. So and then she gets me to swab the deck. <laughs> okay, this is pretty self-explanatory. Just going to chop up the vegetables to put in the crock pot. This is the first time I've used my crock pot this year. When it's summertime, we tend to not use it. All right, and now we're just gonna put the carrots in. Okay. Hi everyone, uh, just finished dinner and wanted to give you my opinion of, um, of that particular recipe. Uh, I think the pot roast was okay, but uh, McCormick slow cooker pot uh, roast recipe or seasoning packet, that um, had a little too much uh, rosemary in it or something like that. As a, not, not a flavor that, uh, that I personally enjoyed, but if you like rosemary, I'd say, yeah, go for it. Um, but, but it wasn't so bad. It was roast beef. Have a good one. Talk to you guys later. Bye. Hi, friend. I'm Sadie. And I think you should like this video. Click subscribe and the little bell, too. That way you know every time my mommy and daddy upload a new video. Thanks.